warm hello to all our friends watching us. I, Dr. Oxygen, and my sweet little assistant Cherry, welcome you to another exciting and fun-filled episode of Science for Juniors. Hello, friends. I will just join you all again. I need to throw this in the dustbin. That was great. You know, you all should throw waste in bins and not on the ground or in open. I wish my friends would also do that. You know, because this friend of mine was careless, she threw a banana peel in the corridor and another student slipped and broke his wrist. That's bad. The guy must be in severe pain because of someone's carelessness. I believe everyone should be educated about not only where to throw the waste but also on how to dispose it of correctly. How to dispose means what, professor? Don't we have to just put it in the bin? Smart girl. You surely need to put it in the bin, but there are different bins for different kinds of waste. There are I don't know of them, Professor. No worries, Cherry. You and kids just need to hop on to the sci-fi ride with me and Science for Juniors and by the end, you would know all that's to know about garbage disposal. Sci-fi ride! Yippee! Here I come! All through the day, we produce all kinds of garbage and throw them into the dustbin. This includes vegetable peels, tea leaves, broken glass, broken plastic toys, etc. Does it mean we just trash it all together? Let's find out in this module on garbage disposal in which we learn about biodegradable and non-biodegradable garbage. Dealing with biodegradable and non-biodegradable garbage and why it is important to think before throwing. We throw away something every day that is garbage or no longer of use to us. Some of what we throw rots, while some of it doesn't. And because all waste does not break down in the same way, it must be separated into two categories. Biodegradable waste or waste that decomposes into soil and Non-biodegradable waste or waste that takes very, very long to decompose. That's why it's important to have two bins. The green one where the biodegradable stuff goes and the blue one for the non-biodegradable stuff. There you go. I'm glad there's awareness and smart households like yours are putting it to use as well. Thank you, Professor. Um, but I have a question. What happens to this waste afterwards? Good question there. We collect the garbage from our house and workplaces and then throw it into the right bins. But the cycle doesn't end here. Come, let's find out where does it go next. But where does all this biodegradable and non-biodegradable garbage finally go after we have thrown it away and the safai karmcharis or cleaners have taken it away to municipal dumps? Biodegradable waste is actually useful if it is allowed to rot. It can be used to make compost or manure as we call it. But the waste should be put into pits and covered. Otherwise, it becomes a breeding ground for disease-causing organisms. Non-biodegradable waste is usually spread over a large area set aside for this purpose by a city or town. The area is called a landfill. As trash is dumped in the landfill, big rollers are driven over it so that it is leveled and becomes compact. Then the compacted trash 
is covered with soil. So layer by layer, the landfill is built up. To prevent harmful substances from leaking into the surrounding soil and water table, the bottom and the sides of the landfill are lined with clay or thick plastic sheets. Is any one of you wondering what happens when a landfill is full? Here is the answer. Well, finally grass is grown over it, creating beautiful parks and playgrounds. Note, it is important to realize that not all non-biodegradable waste should be thrown into landfills. Some of it can be reused. So that's where the waste goes? Hmm. So are all parks on landfill sites? No, that's not correct. Landfills are usually on the outskirts of a city or town. What's cooking on your mind, Cherry? Um, just thinking about how much garbage there must be in a landfill. Unimaginable quantities, my dear. Unimaginable quantities. But Science for Juniors has a valid thought here that we can ponder over. What would happen if there was no more space for landfills and the ones we had were full. Hmm, that would be bad news indeed. So, throw away less and only what you really need to throw. Think, can you use any of it again? In any way? If yes, don't throw it. Follow the principles of reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce, reuse and recycle. That's what I'm going to follow. Excellent decision, Cherry. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Now moving on, here are some interesting facts you should know about wastes. Do you know? Because of the careless attitude of many mountaineers over the years, Mount Everest is today the world's highest junkyard. Sad, isn't it? This is no ordinary trash. Look at it closely. Climbing ropes, empty oxygen bottles, etc. are converting this beautiful abode of nature into a garbage dumping ground. Not only on Mount Everest, it's really disturbing to see tourists throwing garbage all over in almost every hill station in their reach. Lot of non-biodegradable garbage is a part of it, which is polluting these natural havens. But there is some good news. There is a new kind of expedition to Mount Everest these days. Of late, teams of dedicated workers have been going up to Mount Everest to remove non-biodegradable garbage that climbers have left behind over the years. For hill stations, we all should do our bit and should keep them clean as we keep our house clean. I will be really careful while disposing garbage, Professor. Of course you should. And you should also reuse as much as possible. Like you can make manure for your garden using some waste vegetable peels. Holy moly! I can! Wow! And while you are at it, you can get some for my kitchen garden as well. What say, Cherry? Absolutely! By now, you all know the right way of disposing garbage. But let's double confirm it with a quick recap. Shall we? Sure! In this module, we learned the following. All garbage does not decompose. Biodegradable waste decomposes into soil and is used as compost or manure. Non-biodegradable garbage goes into landfills and some of the garbage is not really garbage. It can be reused. 
be happy if I help her with the garden, Professor. Like I say, no knowledge is ever a waste, Cherry dear. I think I should also involve Casper, my turtle, as well. He'll slow you down, but I guess he would be a good company. That he would be. Anyhow, so that's all what we had in the sci-fi ride today. So kids, don't forget to hop on again for another interesting ride, same time, same place. Till then, keep churning those brain cells for something good. Bye bye.